Protesters in downtown Chattanooga got a lot of looks today. For sure, group members who are against circumcision occupied street corners with their message. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Sarah Sidery joins us now with more. Sarah? Well, David, the group says that their goal is to educate other people on the issue, and the way they're doing it is attention-grabbing, to say the least. This downtown street corner was getting lots of stares on Thursday, stopping traffic, some just to look, others wanting to learn more. Megan Swartz had to take pictures. Yeah, I was walking to work, and I saw these men standing on the corner with all white on and um, nice red on their crotch. So. Basically, what we're doing is we're wearing the, we're wearing the stain that we carry around. We're, we're putting the stain on top of our clothes to make it a public issue. The group is called the Bloodstained Men and Their Friends. They protest circumcision across the country. Their 12-day tour of the Southeast kicked off in Chattanooga Thursday. Co-founder Brother K has been protesting the issue for over 30 years. Circumcision takes away a man's freedom. The American Academy of Pediatrics has somewhat shifted its stance in recent years. According to the organization, research suggests the health benefits of the procedure outweigh the risks, but there's, quote, not enough scientific evidence to routinely recommend it. My son is circumcised, and it's my greatest regret as a parent. Amanda Tyson is a Chattanooga mom of two. She got involved in the issue just months after her son was born. Um, you take away his choice that he would have if he were to become a man. The CDC reports the procedure has slightly decreased in popularity in recent decades, from 64% in 1979 to 58% in 2010. However, doctors say it's a decision that's ultimately best for parents to decide. I have nothing against one way or the other, but I think it's an interesting thing to be on the corner of 4th and Market. Now, the American Association of Pediatrics recommends that parents discuss the issue with a doctor first and take into account medical, religious, as well as cultural traditions. In the studio, Sarah Sidery, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.